Mago and Uncle Ive puts Johnny Walker down with one big clean shot, falls up with one more uppercut to end the fight. And he really didn't have to use his wrestling too much. There was one tie up in the clinch in the first round, but most of the fight was standing and Mago cleanly outstruck Johnny Walker. Walker was doing very well in the first round, then regressed as the fight was playing out because of the pressure Magomed was able to put on him, stemming off of a big body jab. And there was a lot of lifting of the lead knee for Magomed Uncle Live, whether it's him being defensive or offensive, trying to block and avoid some strikes, or put the pressure on Johnny Walker. He was given a similar kind of look for both. And this really messed up Johnny Walker throughout the fight. Walker was doing some good stuff out there with his feints and setting up potential follow-ups, but he didn't notice some of them. Some of them he was working with and try to capitalize with some flashy techniques, but the more meaningful openings he didn't really notice, like the question mark kick for an example, was a big one. So this fight revolved around a lot of leg kicks and feints. You saw throughout the fight that both fighters were trying to find that opening to land that one big meaningful shot on each other, but they were working off the legs in order to do it. Very interesting at how that was developing. Eight seconds into the fight, you saw what Uncle Live's main defense was. Johnny Walker drew it out, a simple hip feint, making it look like he's going to throw a kick, made Uncle Laev lift that lead leg up in order to check. This defense from Magomed Uncle Laev was his main defense the whole fight. This is what he did for many of Walker's actions. Whether Walker was going to throw a leg kick, whether he was going to feint, whether he threw a question mark kick, or even extended his hands out there, Uncle Laev would lift that lead leg up in order to check while keeping his hands up to his head and he was able to draw this out routinely throughout the fight and there were openings. There definitely were openings but he just did not see them. He would actually draw out the correct openings on how to get through it but didn't follow up with the exact timing that he needed. Like look how many times he draws that reaction out of Uncle Liev. A big sidestep showing the right hand causes Uncle Liev to give that same reaction. Throwing out a naked kick gives out that same reaction. So from a punch to a kick, you see the same kind of thing. Lifts his hand up to the sky, and Magomed gives the same exact reaction again. He faints by showing his right hand, setting up the switch kick, Again, same reaction out of Uncle Liev. A simple right shoulder feint causes the same reaction. And many more. There's many times Johnny Walker was triggering this out of Magomed. And he attempted different ways on how to get through it. A few of them looked like they had some promise. So he exhausted his options off the axe kick. He tried this method. Because Magomed Uncle Liev is lifting his lead leg up, he's planting himself only on that rear leg, not allowing himself to move anywhere. So he kind of has to brace for impact or defend anything coming to his head only with his hands. So by kicking his leg outward to make it look like it's going to be a round kick, Johnny Walker is able to rotate the kick above and drop it on Magomed's head. Very difficult kind of kick to block with your hands. And it nearly catches Magomed Uncle Live clean. He was a little too far to connect with the full impact of the heel. But you could definitely see how this can work and get through. Then he tried it again, but this time instead of kicking outward, and then bring it around to the top, he kicks inward and then brings it around and he lands the kick. He would like to be a little bit closer so the heel gets that real impact on the skull. Another interesting method from Johnny Walker was taking that far outside step as they were both in the opposite stance for most part of the fight, triggering out that check and Walker steps through completely putting his body to the outside. This is getting himself away from a lot of danger for what Magomed could throw at him, right? There's the right hook and that's pretty much it unless Magomed himself looks to plant, pivot and spin. But at this point, Knowing that Walker is spinning already, it could be a bit too late for Uncle Live to do the same against him. So the right hook is all that Uncle Live has to work with here to catch Johnny Walker. And he misses as the distance was too far. And Johnny Walker puts together the combination of a spinning back fist into a wheel kick. The kick does get somewhat blocked, but also able to create some kind of impact through the guard with the calf. That's not exactly where Johnny Walker wants to land the kick. He wants to land further down on his leg like the heel. So these are a bit more of flashy follow-ups that he could have landed on Uncle Liev, but then went to something a little bit different that in my opinion would have worked against Uncle Liev, but he didn't set it up the correct way. He had the correct opening, but didn't follow up the way that he wanted to. So remember when he was reaching up to the sky with his right hand? He was also looking above Uncle Liev's head. It triggers out that same reaction, and Johnny Walker goes to throw a kick to the body. If he turned this into a question mark kick, he absolutely would have landed this on Uncle Liev. If he brought the kick around and targeted the head, as Uncle Liev dropped his left hand to the body, this would have been a 
perfect sequence for Johnny Walker less than a minute into the fight. Who knows what would happen here if he went for the question mark kick here. And you can see how he saw the opening because he threw the question mark kick about five seconds later without the necessary setup to land it. He doesn't reach out with his hand in order to draw the reaction out. Walker needs to already have that reaction out there before he throws a question mark kick. So by reaching with his hand first and then following up with the kick, that is what he wants to look for. Not draw out the reaction from the kick initially because it's going to be way too obvious for Uncle Laev to see. Because Walker did not try to feint, triggering out that check. Uncle Laev simply moved away, went to parry toward his body just in case the kick came to his body and he kept his hand up to his head, fortifying all of his defenses here just in case and it worked. The kick did slap a little bit at the top of his head but Johnny Walker missed out on what he could have worked with here because to trigger out that check is so easy for him. It's happened so many times throughout the fight, he just needs to follow it up with the question mark kick or something to that effect but he never did never not even once and he had the opening he should have been able to see the opening when he did it when i was watching this live i was like kicking myself i'm like the opening is there it's right there and he just does not see it it's crazy to me to watch that throughout the fight and then he regressed himself degraded himself into throwing naked leg kicks and Remember that Uncle Live is constantly lifting his lead leg to check, so what are these kicks for? The only reason he should be throwing this naked leg kick like that is to bait Uncle Live to counter it so that Johnny Walker can counter him with a spinning back fist, which he tried a couple times, right? A big thing that Johnny Walker started to go to was throwing the leg kick, which would usually miss, follow through, cause an overextension, and because of that overextension, he kind of gets into southpaw where his right shoulder is in front, and he extends out the jab, moves back away from Uncle Laev, attempting him to fall into the bait for the spinning back fist. He did this a couple times throughout the fight and it never worked. These big techniques he goes for are using big movements and it's hard to get to Uncle Laev like that. You need a lot more subtle movements in order to catch him with something like this. And then it got to a point where he just threw kicks to the leg and didn't even follow up with anything tricky so the less success Johnny Walker was having throughout the fight you saw how he was regressing because there's no reason anymore why Johnny Walker would start the second round with a leg kick like that even if he went to go in hand trap it doesn't matter that he should already know at this point that Magomed is going to try to check every single kick and lift his leg upward the leg kick is just not going to work on him and Walker gave the same reaction every single time from that point where he was extending with that lead arm and it happened in the finishing sequence as well but instead of Magomed Uncle Live being in southpaw he switched into orthodox which is something he did way more in the second round he was constantly breaking Johnny Walker's rhythm by going forward with the shift knee feint similar to what Sean Strickland was doing against Israel Adesanya and it would cause Johnny Walker to react in many different ways. It caused him to square his stance, it caused him to get unbalanced, it caused him to constantly move backwards. Like look at this right here. As soon as Magomed Ankolaev shift knee fainted forward, look at Walker's reaction. His feet are not even completely under him anymore. He's leaning back with his body, his legs are forward, and he has to move now in order to gain balance. And because of this, a lot of the openings that Johnny Walker wants to use have been taken away from him simply because Magomed was switching stances into orthodox and constantly shift knee fainting that was causing Walker to be on the defense. When Walker usually does his best work on the offense, he never wants to be on the defense. It's always where he gets caught. So after moving backwards, he tries to establish any kind of offense and it goes to the same exact thing again. Magum is an orthodox and Johnny Walker throws the outside leg kick where he should have knew full well that Magomed was going to lift his leg above it and check. The overextension happens. You always know what Johnny Walker is going to follow up with. That lead extended right hand. Looks like he actually does touch Magomed with it. But it doesn't even matter. Look how far out to the outside angle Magomed Ankolaev is. There's nothing stopping him from walking straight forward and landing a right hand. One single punch puts Johnny Walker down. Follow up shot ends the fight. Beautiful work from Magomed Ankolaev, man. And really questionable stuff from Johnny Walker. There was a point where Johnny Walker did get pretty close to landing the hook kick to the head after conditioning it with a low side kick. So the low side kick was going to miss because of course Uncle Live was going to lift his lead leg up above it and also toward the left causing the kick to miss. But notice the step before he throws the kick, planting himself, chambering the kick. That right there is a conditioning factor because he does it again for the hook kick 
and look how Uncle Laev drops his right hand down toward his leg, opening up the side of his head. But he was able to lean away from the kick just enough, man. That came very, very close. You probably give Magomed Uncle Laev a title shot if Jamal Hill is not coming back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you did, make sure to give this a like, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.